everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the first time you've been here before. My name is Jordan Miller and I review boxing gear. Today I have an unboxing and first impressions of a pair of boxing gloves I've been wanting to try for a long time. Um, and these are from Paffin Sport and they are their pro Mexican boxing gloves. So let's get into it. All right, so a while ago on Instagram, uh, Paffin Sport made a post that these gloves, kind of a tease, like that these gloves were coming. They're pro-Mexican uh, training gloves. So they have a, a pro-Mexican style fight glove um, that I've seen a number of, of boxers wear, and they look great. The, the colors look great, the, the shape and design. Um, definitely look like the style of, of gloves that I like, that I find comfortable. Um, however, I've never been able to try a pair. I, I don't own many fight gloves because um, for training, I don't think they just last as long. The padding is not designed to last that long. So, and they're often the same price or more than training gloves. So when they were coming out with a training glove version of, the, of that style glove, or at least something that looked like uh, that style glove, um, I was very excited. So uh, excited to do this unboxing, get that first, get the first impressions going for you guys. So uh, the box, uh, you know, has uh, been through it a little bit um, on its way here from uh, from Europe. So, but it made it. That's uh, that's all that matters. in this like tight cellophane kind of packaging. Okay, what's the invoice? So, um, as with my, uh, all of my unboxing and reviews, we'll start with a walk around the gloves. Uh, we'll look at the leather, we'll look at the stitching, liner, um, put them on the scales, see how much they weigh, um, and then we'll try them on. Um, and uh, I'll give you my, my first thoughts of uh, how they feel, and um, then we'll wrap things up. So, let's jump to the walk around. All right, so walk around the glove. Uh, first thing we'll do is check out the leather. Um, so the leather looks good. You can't really see like a grain to it, which is fine, just an observation. Um, I don't know, down here at the fingertip feels, where I can kind of pinch it up a little bit, feels a tiny bit thin almost. Maybe it's just in that area. Maybe it's being pulled really tight or something. Um, some blemish, I don't know if these are blemishes, if these are, you know, something happened. I don't think this is from packaging or anything because they were wrapped up like perfectly sealed in like some cellophane wrap. So some blemishes here, um, palm side, leather looks, leather looks good. So I feel like this is good leather, kind of like solid quality, um, but um, is not like the standout feature of the, of the glove. Um, looking at the stitching, this is, I, I'm hoping these kind of break in sideways because this is kind of, it's interesting how it's kind of like flaring out like that, but this look, I mean, this is okay. This is, you know, it's a little, a little crooked. Um, down here looks better. Um, this is nice and tight, so that's good. Palm side. Um, looks good. A little, this is, you know, kind of arced. Very tight seams, um, not a criticism, just what it is. Um, nice and tight through here. So, solid stitching, you know, not bad. 
um, liner. So I think this is kind of cool. Um, it's this all white liner. Um, and they, this comes in, I think, definitely black and red. And uh, for those gloves, like for the black gloves, the liner's black and the red gloves, the liner is red. So that's, that's, that's pretty, uh, I thought that was interesting. Never don't have a pair of gloves that have this like white liner. Yeah, you can see very, like a lot of padding on the inside on the back here, back of the wrist, pretty thin on the front, and then similar padding on the, on the back of the hand. But this, this is very silky, uh, smooth uh, feeling. Um, very, very nice, very comfortable all the way down across the back here as well. So it's different in the thumb area, um, but uh, liner is very nice, very comfortable. Uh, let's throw them on the scales. A little, yeah, the logo there, a little, little blemish as well. All right. So these are kind of a Mexican style glove. It does not say made in Mexico. They did not say they were Mexican made. So, um, you know, a common issue with Mexican made gloves is it'll say 16 ounces on the tag and it'll weigh 20 ounces. So I'm curious to see how close these are to, to weight. And 15.9, I bet if we adjust it, it might get it like right at 16. Yeah, 15.9. So that's excellent. Um, you know, in the range of where it should be. We'll try the left glove, see if it's consistent with the right glove. 15.9, we'll adjust a little bit, 15.9. So that's great, that's excellent. So both gloves identical to each other within the range of what you would expect um, for a 16 ounce tag, so, so that's good. So now we'll jump to trying them on um, and get the first impressions of the fit and feel of these gloves. All right, so that's the walk around of the gloves. Um, I would say overall good leather. Um, it's not jumping out at me as uh, very like uh, high end. Um, so just good solid leather, nothing I'm concerned about, but it's also not the you know defining characteristic of the glove. Stitching is okay. Um, there's, it's again, there's some spots that look okay. It's, it's fine. No, no pop seams, no loose threads or anything like that. But again, nothing that's like, wow, this is immaculate or anything like that. And then uh, I guess with the leather too, there are a couple spots on it. I don't know if that's from the packing. I don't know if that's just the leather. Um, they are white, so they're going to show that sort of thing, I guess. But you know, they're just, they're new. So that's a little disappointing. Um, the liner I think is pretty dope though, like that most liners, even on an all white glove, you know, it's going to be black or in some cases maybe navy or something like that. But to do like to match that, this is the only pair of gloves I have with like an all white liner and it is super silky. Um, so it does feel really smooth. Um, and then on the scales, both of them essentially 16 ounces on the nose. Uh, so that, that's really good to see, which for Mexican gloves and they say 16 ounce, most of them, they do not weigh 16 ounce. They weigh a lot more. So. Um, so that's nice to see. Uh, my favorite part, trying them on, first impressions. Um, we will see how they feel. Um, again, the liner is very silky. Um, so I'm hoping that's uh, nice and comfortable. Let's tighten that up a little bit. So overall profile of the glove, um, pretty narrow um, side to side. Um, overall length, so, uh, so side to side, a little uh, more of a kind of a compact feel. Um, top to bottom, I would say this is a, an average length for a 16 ounce pair of gloves, not long, not short. So just a nice um, kind of average length for that. Um, compartment by compartment, fingertip area, um, 
There's a bit of rolled leather on the seam here for you to get your fingers over and around. There's plenty of room as far as like depth. So I, my fingertips are about right here, but if they needed to go deeper, they could. So if you have longer fingers, I would be able to accommodate that. Um, I like kind of deeper fingertip compartments just so I can really turn my hand over all the way and get a nice, uh, nice fist in there. Um, it's uh, side to side, plenty of room. It's holding, I'll say pinching my fingers this way, but not hard or in an uncomfortable way. So it's just kind of holding them there in place, um, if that makes sense. Uh, thumb. My, I'm not a huge fan right now of the thumb. Uh, we'll see how, what it's like to train on. Um, it's pinching a little bit on this seam on the uh, uh, here. And I, I don't know, I, I feel like maybe where it's attached to the body, my thumb just kind of feels like it's sticking out a little too much this way. Like it needs to be brought in a little more and I can't really press it in either just because of the way it comes up here. It can't, you know, curl it in. So thumb placement, a little tight right here. Feels like it's stuck out just a little bit. So we'll see if that changes or, or if I'm able to break that in a little bit better um, upon use. Um, hand compartment, uh, kind of a compact hand compartment. Side of my hand, again, no wraps on right now, right here. So I like that. Nice compact hand compartment. Um, ergonomics of the hand compartment feel good. My knuckles, uh, top knuckles right up here, bottom knuckles right there. Nice punching surface. Feels like a pretty firm shock absorbing um, punching surface there. So that's very promising. That's probably, right now, this is probably my favorite part of the gloves. Um, that uh, upon first impression. Wrist, um, this wrist area is very thick, probably an inch, soft on this side for about a centimeter, maybe less than a centimeter, half a centimeter, soft on the side that touches your arm about the same, and then in the middle, very firm, almost like a piece of cardboard or something very firm through this entire area, um, but still able to wrap around the arm there. Um, so good wrist protection. Um, palm side, flat padding, probably about a half inch thick on both sides. So yeah, so that's the first try on overall fit and feel and look of these Paff and Sport Pro Mexican boxing gloves. All right, so that's the walk around and try on first impressions of these Paffin Sports Pro Mexican boxing gloves. Um, overall quality of the materials and makeup is solid. Um, couple spots on the leather, um, could just be bad luck, could be anything. Um, that is a kind of a, a risk I think you take with all white leather, but I just think it looks really clean, the, the, the look of it and design, so you know, I take that risk. Um, fit and feel is good. I'm, a, I'm curious about this thumb. Again, I talked about the placement. It doesn't feel like my favorite. In between cuts, I actually quickly tried on the left one and the thumb felt better over here. So maybe, you know, again, wraps, breaking these in and stuff that I, I might change my opinion about that. Again, this is just my first impression, first try on. Um, and uh, after I get some rounds in with these, I'll, I'll come back and make another video doing my full review. So hope you guys liked that video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. If you did not, hit that thumbs down button two times. Really let me know you didn't like it. Comment down below if you got any comments about the gloves, any questions. Um, I usually do a pretty good job about answering those. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos, including the upcoming full review of these gloves. Um, and follow me on my other social media platforms. Name is Jordan Miller on YouTube, um, and I'm on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, you can see short clips of me training with this gear, um, pictures uh, of the gear that I'm reviewing, and it's just another good uh, venue to talk about boxing gear and uh, you know all things boxing. So hope you guys like this video. I'll see you next time.